Next thing we're going to talk about is how to use uh, scientific notation. Now you guys have studied scientific notation for a very long time and uh, in my mind there is a practical use. In fact you guys use the concept of scientific notation every day and the reason I can say that is because scientific notation does something for us that you guys do all the time for yourselves. And uh, the reason I know this is because of things like this. So LOL uh, THX BRB. I'm not very good at the little text stuff, but I do know that what that is, that's basically text shorthand. And what it is, it's it's the way that we can get our message across uh, in a very concise way. And that's what scientific notation is. Scientific notation for us is basically our ability to get across numbers that are really large or really small in a very concise manner that's still accurate. So scientific notation, there is one rule for scientific notation, and you do need to know it, is that uh, only one digit to the left of decimal to be correctly written in scientific notation. If you have more than one uh, number to the left of the decimal, then obviously you're not written correctly in scientific notation. So let's look at the first one. We're going to take 1,200,000 and write it in scientific notation. What I would do uh, first is I always look and see where is my decimal. So in that number right there, the decimal is there. For me to have one digit to the left of the decimal, I want my decimal to be right here. So I want it to be one decimal two. All right, so that way I only have one digit to the left of the decimal. And what we're gonna do is we're always gonna multiply by a power of 10. And what that is, the reason it's a power of 10 is because our system is a base 10 counting system. So uh, all we have to do now is count how many places we're gonna move our decimal. Okay. Now, what we do is we always compare this number right here to our original number and say 1.2, when I multiply it by 10 to some power, do I need to make this larger or smaller, this 1.2, to get 1,200,000? Well, obviously 1.2 is smaller than this, so I need to make it larger. Anytime your answer is larger, you know your exponent is going to be a positive number. So therefore, it's going to be 10 to the positive 6 power. Looking down at the next one, we play the exact same game. Here's the current decimal. We want the decimal there to be one digit to the left of the decimal, so I really want it to be right there. So I want it to be 3 decimal zero 02 times 10 to some power. And again, I'm going to compare the number in scientific notation to my original. Say, do I need to make this number larger or smaller to get decimal 00302? That answer is obviously smaller, so anytime the answer is smaller, I will use a negative exponent. And uh, all I do is count how many places I move it. One, two, three. So it's going to be the negative third power. The reason this works is because if you look over here, uh, 10 to the zero power is obviously going to be one. If you think about money, that would represent a dollar. Uh, 10 to the negative first, we know how to get rid of a negative exponent. And this is the reason that scientific notation is in our nice little section. So that's really one tenth. So if you think about it, that's a dime. Well, 10 to the negative two power is really 1 over 10 squared, which is equivalent to 1 over 100, and that's a penny. So as, as the exponent becomes more and more negative, you can see it's going to make the number smaller and smaller. Let's see if we can't look and go the opposite direction. We'll take numbers in scientific notation and convert them into standard notation. So we have 1 decimal 9, so what we're going to do is we're going to say that's going to be 1 decimal 9. Whoops, I'm going to give myself a little room. In fact, that may just come down here times 10 to the negative fourth power. Anytime you have a negative exponent, it's going to make the number smaller. We just kind of discovered that. So uh, which way would I move the decimal to make it smaller? Well, if I move it this way, that number will become 19. Well, 19 is definitely larger than that, so that's the wrong direction. Now, that's one spot, two spots, three spots, four spots. So my decimal is going to be right here. Anytime you're missing uh, numbers, you're going to use zero to hold those numbers. So it's going to be decimal zero, zero, zero. One, nine. Very good, let's look at the next one. So we have uh, eight decimal six times 10 to the third. As you can see, we have a positive exponent, so that's gonna make our number larger. So what we're gonna do is we'll say uh, eight decimal six. To make our number larger, if we move it this way to the left, it's gonna be decimal eight six, which is obviously smaller. So we'll move it in the opposite direction, three places. I need a whole place value, so this number will be 8,600. So using scientific notation.